Have you recently converted your couch PC into a launch box big box setup and want to now import your Steam games alongside your retro games? Hello, my name is Brad and today on Unbroken Software Studio Tutorials, I will show you how to find your Steam name and walk you through the process on how to import your Steam games so that they will display with your retro games. Okay, first things first, we gotta find your Steam name. In the top right, click your name and go to View Profile. It's going to take you to your profile page. In the address bar, you're going to see steamcommunity.com forward slash ID forward slash and then your name. For me, it's Sentai Brad, which is also here. After you've found your Steam name and input it into Launchbox, there's one more step that you need to take in order for Launchbox to import all your Steam games. Right below your level and badge, hit Edit Profile. On the Edit Profile page, on the right hand side, hit My Privacy Settings. On this page, under Profile Status, you need to make sure that your profile is public. If it's friends only or private, the Steam API will not import any of your Steam games into LaunchBox. Over in LaunchBox, go to Tools, Import, Steam Games. Click through until it asks you for your Steam custom URL, and you're going to go ahead and put the name that you found here in the address bar. All right, click Next. I'm going to select search for and download metadata from Wikipedia. You don't have to click this, but it will help you find a wider range of your games. Click next. I'm going to have it download all the images next, and it's going to process my steam account. Okay. After a minute or two, LaunchBox has searched through my account through the steam API and is now ready to import all my games in this list. We're going to hit finish. And now here at the bottom, it is going to go through and start to import all my games. Now I've got a lot of Steam games, unfortunately. So this process is going to take a while. I'll meet you guys back here in about oh, three seconds for you. Oh, 20 minutes for me. <laughs> Once you have the scan completed for all your Steam games over here on the left, a new platform will pop up named PC and in it, all your Steam games will appear. Now I... <laughs> didn't let it import all of my steam games it was gonna take it was gonna take a long time it already took 15 minutes and i only imported 119 games so if you have a lot of steam games with a lot of images it's just going to take a while all right so that is how you import your Steam games. Now, something cool with the Steam games, when it scans, it's going to go ahead and see if there's a games database ID or if there's a Wikipedia article on the game. And it's going to go ahead and import all of the images like it normally would, but still display the Steam banner. If a game gets scanned through and doesn't have an entry or isn't found with an entry, it should most likely still have its Steam banner selected and display that for you. So all of your Steam games should have an image. If a game gets wrongly found through the metadata or you want to go ahead and scan it, just click search metadata. Click the game, Burnout Paradise. The reason why this one wasn't found is because it has the ultimate box attached to it, but it is just Burnout Paradise. And then you click download images and media. It will go ahead and scan the games database, Wikipedia and Steam and Emu movies, which we will cover in a later date. And then you just hit download and it's going to go ahead and download all your images. The reason why it was going to take me forever was because Steam games will generally have an entry plus the images that they can get from Steam. So there's usually a lot of images to download. So that is one thing to note when importing your Steam games. This import process, more than most, can take longer. So keep that in mind when importing your Steam games. And that's it, guys. When you're ready to play a game, just go ahead and double click your entry. It will launch through Steam like it normally would, and you'll be playing your game. Another thing to note is that the Steam importer will import all your games that you don't have installed also. So if you have a game that isn't installed, but you want to play it, just double click it. And like normal, it will come up with the install box through Steam and you just install it how you normally would any other Steam game. When that's done, you can go ahead and double click it and it will launch the game through Steam. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. My name is Brad. If you liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Unbroken Software Studios YouTube channel for more content in the future. If you like the sound of my voice, my channel link will be in the description below. Have a nice day.